In today's podcast, we chat about what's on the menu and choosing the right bread. Hey there, welcome to the Five by the Fire podcast. I am your host, Armand Sheffy, a.k.a. Pastor Fury. And I'm also the executive director of the Unshackled Network, a family of missionaries that exists to help the marginalized experience freedom in Jesus through equipping and empowering disciple makers called to the forgotten. Hey, at this time of year, I continue to get more and more excited about Chicago Bears football. And in my excitement with our newest draft pick, I decided I wanted to get a Justin Fields jersey for my birthday this summer. Now, I saw one online that, um, you know, looked great, you know, and I sent it out to folks to consider this as a gift. I was so excited when they agreed to chip in and get it for me because I was remembering the hand-stitched jersey that I'd gotten for Jay Cutler when he first came to the Bears. It was something that had this extremely authentic feel to it, right? Now, don't get me wrong. When the Justin Fields jersey arrived, I was excited to throw it on. There was a sense of disappointment when I noticed that the name and the number had actually simply been ironed on and not sewn on like the Cutler jersey. Now, the jersey looks amazing on the computer, and I still enjoy it, but you guys... um, because of what it looked like on the computer, I just excitedly pursued it without actually realizing that it wasn't the right one. It's amazing what a difference pursuing the right thing can make in life. Not so much in the clothes that we wear, but in the life you live now and into eternity. We are all very well acquainted with our need for food. Our body reminds us on a regular basis And the question simply is, well, what are we going to feast on in those moments? Today, we read again a story of Jesus feeding thousands bread. And then he walks us through the deeper truths about the bread we really need in John chapter 6. In verses 26 through 27, it begins this. Jesus answered them, Truly, truly, I say to you, you are seeking me not because you saw signs, but because you ate your fill of the loaves. Do not work for the food that perishes, but for the food that endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give to you. For on him, God the Father has set his seal. He tells them, don't pursue the wrong bread. Like you're chasing the wrong loaf. While God knows we need food to live on this earth, Jesus tells us working for that food should not be our focus. Pursue the food that has eternal life. The people point then to the manna that the Israelites received during their days in the wilderness from Moses. And they were working to celebrate the work and the signs that Moses did. And Jesus challenges their praise. He continues on. He says, Jesus then said to them, truly, truly, I say to you, it was not Moses who gave you the bread from heaven, but my father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is he who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Ultimately, the people say, we want that food. Yes. And Jesus says, okay, it's me. Let's read on. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall not hunger. And whoever believes in me shall never thirst. Jesus is the bread that they truly need. Jesus is the bread of life that we truly need. He says, too many times you pursue one bread, but neglect the greater one. While Jesus fasted before officially entering into ministry, he was tempted by the devil to eat. And Jesus reminded him and us, man does not live by bread alone. Now, while we need it to survive in this world, we must recognize we need Jesus to live into the next. This world is just a blink of an eye, while eternity is an everlasting gaze into the face of our Creator. Oh, to look upon the most glorious thing for all of your days? Isn't that what we want? Jesus simply tells them to come to Him, tells us to believe in Him, And the bread 
is ours. He says, for this is the will of my father, that everyone who looks on the son and believes in him should have eternal life. And I will raise him up on the last day. Today, as the father calls us to dine and we feast on the right bread, Jesus, let us celebrate with thanksgiving that we will be feasting with the father in eternity. Would you pray with me? Heavenly Father, we thank you for giving us bread. Not only the bread that helps sustain us today, but the bread that sustains us for eternity. Jesus, we thank you for the gift that he is and he was, the, the gift that, that uh, sacrificed himself. He broke himself for our behalf. Lord God, I thank you that as he gave himself for us, that he gives himself to us, Lord God, and that we are invited to come and to dine. Father God, I I thank you that uh, you continue to strengthen our belief, that you continue to, to cause our eyes to gaze upon him today so that we can gaze upon you tomorrow. Lord, we thank you for eternal life that is only a possibility through Jesus. Help us to choose the right bread today. It's in his mighty name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys. Well, I hope this has blessed you today. Um, Make sure you head on over to fivebythefire.org and leave a comment there. Or if you're watching this on uh, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, leave a comment there below. And share this with a friend, you know. And I know that there's so many people out there that really need to just be encouraged to be choosing Jesus today. And I thank you that you have. And I can't wait to see you back here tomorrow on Five by the Fire. Be blessed and be a blessing. Peace.